Hey everyone, my name is Nicole, and I just wanted to share my pacemaker story with you. I know I get a lot of people like asking me like what it is and stuff, so I just thought I'd tell my story. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. When I was born, I was born with a congenital heart defect, which basically means it was no one's fault, but my heart was like kind of like messed up. The doctors first noticed that something was wrong when I went in for my first checkup. I had a loud heart murmur, so they were like, yeah, we need to check this out. So when they did look at my heart, they noticed that there was like, I have like lots of holes in my heart. Like, bro, it looks like Swiss cheese. I mean, that's what the doctor said anyways. I've never really seen it. I also have a leaking valve. And I went in my first surgery when I was four months. But during that surgery, something happened and, um, it like caused my heart to like not beat right like the top part and the bottom part of your heart are supposed to beat and talk to each other so your heart can beat at the right pace but mine started beating at a slow pace so I had to fly all the way to Boston Massachusetts where they have the best um, children's hospital and I got an experimental surgery I was one of the first like people um, to get this surgery it was approved by the federal government and so I did the surgery and it's pretty much where they put um, this umbrella shaped thing and they wrapped it around my heart to like protect it instead of like sealing every single one of the holes because they patched up all the big holes but like there were still a few small ones that they didn't patch up so the umbrella kind of like sealed it so my heart is like protected and this surgery is basically the reason why I'm pretty much here today because without it I'd be really tired like because my heart beats really slow when I don't have my pacemaker. I have my pacemaker at four months and it basically, um, it's like a little battery and it's connected to my heart. It's like, they did have it in my stomach at first when I was born and not when I was born, but like four months. <laughs> and then when I got older, around seventh grade, I got my surgery because the battery can last, um, throughout like 10 years and it's becoming more like technology is becoming greater. So it possibly could last even longer. I have two years left on my pacemaker that I have now. It's under my collarbone, so it's like right here. And I also just want to clear this up because a lot of people ask me like, Oh my gosh, Nicole, you're so skinny. I'm jealous. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, the reason why I'm so skinny is because I, when I was born, I was like not getting enough like calories or whatever because my heart was beating. Um, it wasn't beating right, so I was like losing calories or whatever. So I had to be fed baby food that had like lots of calories in it like every few hours. And when I did get this um, umbrella around my heart, it pretty much helped me to grow because I was so small. And the reason why I'm so skinny is because my heart has to work harder than everyone else's. So I burn a lot of calories, like just by like not doing anything. I don't exercise. I eat terrible. I mean, not all the time. It can change in the future. Like if I stop, like if I be pretty much a sloth and just become lazy and like eat a lot of junk food and don't do anything. I'll get bigger, but basically that's the reason why I'm so skinny, if you were wondering. <laughs> Fun fact, my heart is actually in a Harvard medical book, because um, there's like so many holes in my heart, it basically looked like Swiss cheese, as I said before, and the doctors found that really interesting, so they took a picture of it, and they put it in their medical book, so I thought that was like really cool, because like, kids at Harvard are probably like, oh my gosh, look at this heart. I don't know. My pacemaker is pretty much the reason why I'm an actress also. Because I feel like without it, I wouldn't have come to know acting. Because when I was little, I, growing up with a pacemaker, I have lots of scars. And it was just like, I felt really insecure and insecure, insecure about it when I was little. I didn't want anyone to see them ever. So I'd wear like um, tank tops, like pretty much up to here. And then I'd wear it with like a v-neck and it just looked I look terrible. I eventually realized how bad it looks, so I stopped doing that and I just don't really care anymore. But I was really insecure about that and I was really shy because of it because I couldn't like participate in sports and stuff because I can't do contact sports because if like, you know, something happened to me, that would be kind of bad, obviously. <laughs> so I couldn't really do anything like middle school and like elementary with like sports and stuff. I was really shy, so I kind of wanted like a way to make friends. And I thought that was like another way to make friends was from sports, but I eventually just couldn't do that. So mom was just like, I'm just going to take you to this modeling place. I went to um, a modeling agency in 
Kentucky. It's called Alex Adams. It's no longer in business anymore, but it really helped me throughout the year. I first went there to do a, um, it was like a self-confidence class for young women. And we just kind of like learned how to do makeup. And eventually we just like talked about beauty products and how to be like yourself and like not care what anyone else thinks because we're all different. So once I did that, they also had us do like little modeling shows because it's helping get our confidence up, walking in front of people, and um, so I got into modeling a lot and did some photo shoots. I don't do modeling anymore, not really. I do some print modeling, which is for like, you know, ads for like maybe like food or something, I don't know. But while I was there, they also had acting classes, and I started taking those, and I realized that I really like acting. So it just helped me to like open up and be able to talk to more people so come to this day I'm not shy anymore and I love acting I love meeting new people getting to work with new people and like coming out of my comfort zone basically and yeah that's pretty much why I'm in acting and that's basically it for my story I just wanted to share it in case like I don't know someone's going through something like this and I don't know maybe you'll connect with someone inspire them and that's basically it, so bye!